Ha, gotcha. <laughs> I hope that you didn't turn up your volume then. <laughs> that your speakers would have exploded. Right. Oh, shit. I've said right. So, oh, uh, let's, let's get them over with. Um, right, so, anyway, obviously, basically. Right, okay. Right, okay. Fuck up. Cold on. Just thought I would have a moan about... Um, went to one or two places today. Called in Asda in Kimmel Bay. And it was unbelievable. <laughs> Did a bit of shopping. Not much. Got a big bag. What did I say? Like a big... Oh, I tell you what, if you like your built on... Bear with me a second. Because if you've seen some of my um, videos on... Turn that up a bit. I think I've been turning this light too, down too much. Um, oh, actually it's jerky. I made a mistake. But you get it in Biltong as well. But if you... I've got... I think I've got playlists, but I've got videos on my channel to make your own homemade biltong. It's much cheaper and it's absolutely lovely. And you don't need much ingredients. A bit of coriander and cider vinegar, salt, and that's about it. If you, it, it, it's lovely with a with a flat cap and it's lovely with the cold one. Um, yeah, if you like your or, or your jerky. Um, Kings in Aldi's, they, they sell packs. Um, Kings, uh, load of, and wag wag you wag you waggy you beef or something is it? I've tried them and they're they're quite reasonably priced at a pound. The usual going rate for a pack of biltong or jerky is two quid. Tesco's own make um, small packs. I'm talking about is it 25 grams something like that for. 150 but go to Asda and look what you can get massive pack what's the weight of this 75 gram I think it is but you can see the size of this it's actually a ginormous bag of it's beef jerky I think they do biltong as well they do other stuff but I just got the ordinary bog standard beef jerky £2.50 that was and that's that's a good buy hell of a lot in it um, the other packs you get like from Kings I'll show you there it's about that size there that a quarter of this this bag you get a, just a few strips in them which you know I say a few you get a good good sort of you know especially with a cold on like but if you like your jerky, beef jerky, um, Asda, £2.50. Beautiful stuff. And this is, like I said, just a bog. Just the original beef jerky. And they do honey and something and a few other stuff. But look at the size of that. Size of that bag. Oh, beautiful. But even cheaper, make your own. Um, you need a built-on built box. You can get away with doing it without a built-on box but check out my videos I'm sure I've got a playlist on all my built-on um, videos and how to make all the uh, built-on box that I've made just out of scrap bits of pieces out of the shed um, so yeah if you like your jerky £2.50 oh, beautiful absolutely beautiful or built-on like I said um, but uh, a good buy is Aldi's Kings, they're called Kings, and they do uh, packs for a quid. But they, they, like I say, they, they're only small little packs, but that, that is a good buy. I'll repeat it again. What's it called? Wild West. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Right. So, anyway, obviously, basically, Asda. Oh, yeah, got to shopping, like I say, got that. And, cold ones and uh, to the corner went to the tills guess how many tills were open one 
right at the very end and there was two four six eight ten twelve perhaps people all just it was chaos there and I well this woman she was playing out in this and that and, and I'm saying you know and no one's helping me and you know I'm complaining no one's backing me up and I said well I'll back you up I nearly got my camera out you know and started filming and saying look welcome to Asda look at this do your shopping come to pay and one till open and all that but they probably just chuck you out um, you know because you, you're not allowed to film in the supermarkets um, a lot of people say oh that's a public place it's not it's privately owned as I know the law I know I've delved into the laws it's a private property in which the public are allowed access it's not a public space it's not a public place and if they tell you to stop filming you have to stop filming if you don't they get the police and they just kick you out and whatever same as the car park car park is not a public place same with shopping malls and all that people say oh no it's a public place they're not they're not a public place but you know it's a bit pathetic if they call the police just for filming and stuff like that but that's that's the law you know don't ever go at me don't, don't you know down in the comments say no don't ever go at me that's the law and you know i like i say i almost got my camera because i always carry my camera with me not this one i got here but a little a nikon so nikon what was it l something i haven't got it with me it's downstairs always carry camera because you know you always it doesn't matter you know you'll see something and the, the things that, that you know the old saying is the things you see and you haven't got your camera but it's always carrying the camera with me mm. one till and everyone was moaning and complaining and then someone else came and they opened up a till and I managed to get on and I was putting one or two things on and I was just saying this is absolutely ridiculous I was saying the thing is like people are not going to come back you know there's other places supermarkets bits go I was talking with someone else moaning and groaning and then this woman on the till they had she had a phone she phoned up, went on the phone and she was saying oh get the supervisor down here and all that I was all ready to, to get the manager um, you know just speak to the the organ grinder not the monkey which is very unfair to say that really you shouldn't if there's ever a situation like that you know and there's someone on the till you can't blame the staff you can't blame that person on the till it's not their fault it's higher up it's the supervisors or the manager that's their fault that's what they get paid for to do but people will take it out on that person on the till because when I was on the tills in um, well, S Safeway and then Morrison's I used to have the upper hand um, people uh, and people will believe you me people take it out on you on the tills they'll go around the store they'll won't be able to find or they'll be out of stock with something that they want and all that you know perhaps there's some recipe or some dinner they want to do and, that, and they can't get the, the ingredients and things and they'll come to the till who do they take it out on you they'll take it out on you and the thing is with a lot of people they, they can't take it they'll say oh oh this and that but what i used to do i used to agree with them you know they used to come here and rant and rave and i'd say i'd go yeah i don't blame you I would too. I, I, oh, that, isn't that that's terrible? That I don't blame you. To, you know, I'd agree with them, and then they, well, hang on, <laughs> the argument just just falls flat. There's no argument, is there? They're thinking, hang on, he, he's agreeing with me. He's on my side. <laughs> that's what I used to do. I used to say, I don't blame you. Yeah, but I've have got the uh, well, it goes in there and out there, and I've got the gift of the old gob. So yeah, but um, it was absolutely bloody ridiculous and I haven't been to Asda, it was in Kimmel Bay. I did mention that, yeah. Um, I can't believe that. It, it's going, how long is this going on for now? About five, ten minutes and I haven't said so. Anyway, basically, obviously, well, yeah, uh. Damn. 
So anyway, obviously, basically. Mm. So as the they need to get that act together. And then it went on to Pristatin then, to Tesco. Tesco in Pristatin. No problem there. Oh, he's got tills open and staff watching and, and all that. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, obviously, basically, go in. I'll see you in the next one.